Say hello to everyone. Hi. Guess what I'm going to make today? I think you're going to do apple fritters. Why do you think I'm going to make apple fritters? You said that Why one. do you think I'm going to make apple fritters? I don't know. You said once you wanted to make... I've got to do something to keep my mind busy. Election is still not done. You have watched that video already. I'm going to have to combine a whole bunch of days into that one video because the election results have not come in yet and it is Thursday. Don't anticipate the results. Maybe by the end of today, but most likely not till Saturday. Yeah, so, probably. I'm entertaining myself and then feeding my kids an extra snack. Apple fritters, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I have the TV on so I can keep watching and listening and I'm gonna busy myself with the apple fritters. I have done a video about this. I will link it right above and a link down in the description below, and it has a link to the recipe, so I'm not even gonna share the recipe here, it's super easy, but you can go watch that video on how I make them. I'm not gonna go into it, all of that again in this video. There's no point, I really did a good job in that other video, so go check that out if you wanna make the apple fritters yourself. But I'm gonna turn the volume back up, and then we'll just kinda take you through our day of me trying to busy myself waiting for election results, because I did not think we would be at this point and not knowing the election yet. What, Ashley? I knew it. You knew it? Yeah. Okay. Guess what? Oh, you're ready for recess? Yeah. Are you gonna work on schoolwork during recess or are you gonna go play? I don't know. <laughs> She's behind on her work, not which we, ex fault. it's not, oh, I just stepped on an apple from Kaylee. Oh, that's so nasty. Wet, soggy on your socks. Not good. So she's behind in her schoolwork. Not necessarily her fault, except she could get them done at night. She's just burnt out. She has, like this is literally the second time she's come down today. She's come down twice. She but did Lexi like, after 10 minutes. Now it's just like a one, like. It was like a one-time thing. She has zero time, independent time, to work on her schoolwork while, in the morning from... 9 a.m. until now, it's lunchtime. So, she doesn't have the independent time to get the schoolwork done that they assign her. So we're trying to figure out a way to message, yeah, two ideas. We'll have Ashley talk later about her ideas. Right, Ash? Yeah. You go play now while you're at the time, and we'll come back to her and come up with our two ideas to get her work done. She has some extra reading um, help with a Title I reading teacher that we've done for multiple of my kids. Every they get day behind day. in reading and they get extra help and it's wonderful because our school district is reading is number one. So she does reading with their title one teacher and then she goes back to reading with her in, her teacher teacher and then, and then a small group, re a small group with reading, yep. And then regular reading with the teacher in the class. <laughs> so you can see her morning is filled with reading and writing and there's no time to go back and work on her assignments. Okay, go play. She needs socks, hang on. All right, so I'm waiting for my peanut oil to warm up. I actually had some leftover from probably last year. I had, had it in a jar. But I was kind of worried. I was going through the, my recipe and I realized I needed apple cider. Which, then I remembered that I have my own homemade apple cider from years ago and it's still good. And I wanted to make sure it's still good. And we're gonna pop the top on this thing and make sure we have a that's what you want. If it doesn't have a pop, I'm not gonna use it, and I'm gonna have to run to the store and get some apple cider. So, I have everything kind of prepped. This is for my glaze that goes on the apple fritters, and then this is my batter, and then I'm gonna put, I just melted my butter, but you can't put the butter in with the eggs, or you'll cook them when the butter is hot. So, everything kind of separated and ready to go, plus I haven't chopped my apples down here, because I don't want those to brown. I don't have any lemon oh, lemon juice. I don't think I have lemon juice. Yeah, I don't have lemon juice. So I can't cut the apples. They actually have to dry. You have to kind of put them on a paper towel and dry them out. You don't want any extra moisture going into the batter. So you have to kind of dry them out. So let's pop the top of this jar and make sure I can use this apple cider. It's gonna be really good. Yes. That is the sound of fresh.
All right, I got my little station all set up. I actually had to turn my heat off for a little bit, so it's going back up to 350 on the oil. But I've got my batter all ready to go. I'm gonna scoop it in with two different spoons, and then I've got my tongs ready to pull them out. Put them on the tray with the towel and a cookie sheet underneath there. And then as soon as they're kind of manageable to hold, I'll dip them into the glaze that goes on top. Yum. But I'm not gonna lie, I am dying of heat. I have the window open, or the door open over here. It's raining and cold and, oh, feels so good. It's like 50 degrees out here and raining. And it feels really good to have the cold air on me. This is kind of why I don't like to bake. I don't like to get hot. I need this apron on, otherwise I would take it off because it's kind of making me extra hot. Um, but the batter and the oil is gonna start to splatter on me. <sighs> Watching this selection, you guys down to the wire. I think we could know today. So I'll update the other video <laughs> with myself if we get results here in the next couple hours. It's one o'clock our time on in the Pacific Northwest um, on Thursday, November 5th. If I, rem if I remember the date right, 6th? I don't remember what day it is. They're within a couple hours of calling Pennsylvania, Arizona, and possibly Nevada. Nevada is probably not till Saturday but their preliminary numbers could come in today. So I'm watching it like a hawk. I don't know how much I can show CNN and not get like flagged because it's like copyright. Like I got flagged for NFL, so pretty sure I can't show CNN. All right, we are up to temperature. Like I said, this isn't a tutorial, but I'm gonna show you doing the first batches here. Let me see if I can prop you up. on another batch going but I wanted to show you the first batch that came out it comes out too fast for me to like <laughs> film it at the same time but they look so good the kids are gonna be really excited to be done with school today they don't have a break for another half hour the younger ones don't but I will say it's also very helpful to have Alexa to do my timers they don't have to off and do them on the microwave and I can just tell her to put me a timer. It's really helpful to have Alexa. It has to be quiet or else she'll turn on. watching it's been on non-stop I just found out that Jason is sick and well like, sick he's just having some like an allergy attack or something again so he's coming home from work about what two hours early so um, hopefully we actually see some results tonight and we can actually get a reaction otherwise again it'll probably be till tomorrow until we find out but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to call it tonight that's my thought Take it for what it is. So we haven't done much. I had all these intentions of making this nice dinner and we made garlic pasta from the freezer instead. You and you haven't even eaten, have you, Jace? He's been sitting here with his toilet paper and his tissues because he doesn't feel good. And I've that been sitting, just... I know, it's fine. I've been sitting here watching TV, watching the election. We're trying to distract ourselves with YouTube, but um, do you have thoughts, Jace? He's not wearing an appropriate shirt right now, so I'm waiting until Abby throws him down one. I like, uh, it's much better when you watch it on meds. <laughs> when you watch the election on me on medication? Yeah. It goes better for you? It does. There's your shirt. Uh, yes, you gotta get up and go get it real quick. If only, if well, only we smoked weed. <laughs> which we don't. We don't smoke weed. He'd be a lot happier man if we smoked weed. <laughs> yeah. I need a prescription. But um, we were just talking tonight about how the election is like epic and never happened before. And we're, I, we've got three hours before Georgia. Um, 
adds more numbers to the mix. And I was like, what are we gonna do for three hours? And then I realized that the never happened before bachelorette night is on tonight. So it's like a night of, it's never happened before. This has happened before. Um, I mean, there it's a regular election, which there someone yeah, is. I mean, some of them we know before, but everything's so down to the wire that it's going longer. But two thousand went for like a month or something. Two yeah, months. I don't remember. I was in the days of being almost engaged to you, but I was in La La Land. <laughs> <laughs> These little pile of nasty tissues we right there. We didn't engage until April. Yeah, but you had finally like got your game together and realized that you could lose me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that true? Yeah, I, I realized I wanted to marry you. Yeah. So I'm probably going to call it a night with you guys tonight for our daily video. I might pick the camera back up for our election video. I'm kind of compiling multiple days of commentary from Jason and I, and maybe our kids, maybe they'll have something to say depend, depending on who wins. Abby has lots to say regarding the election because she's very involved um, individually, just herself, of researching and watching and knowing what's going on from multiple sources. So, but she doesn't like to be on camera. But I will see if she wants to give her reaction to the results if we get them eventually so you guys can check that video out I don't know when it's gonna come either before this video or after because I don't know how long we're gonna have to wait for the election results so we're gonna close our night here and everyone did you enjoy the uh, critters oh the critters were amazing that was nice to come home to <laughs> you did a great job love. <laughs> I was such a molly house or uh, a, a good housewife this morning and now I've been stuck on the couch I don't feel good I know what does that have to do with me? I don't know, I'm just saying. I get no credit for being a good housewife and making you your fritters. Good housewife. The fritters were awesome. Okay. Good night, guys. I'm gonna go have a fritter for dinner. Because that's all I really care about.